What's up guys? Got kind of a slower day at the shop. Got the girls here cleaning up. My oldest and obviously the boss here actually got a broom. But uh, I got one I'm working on right now so I get out of cleaning. But uh, coming at you with a quick tools in action on the AC sniffer. Shut up and sit down. All right, so I already got the tools out here, guys. Um, obviously, you want to make sure, like I said, warm weather's coming, but you always want to do your preliminary checks on this. Um, I did already put the AC machine on there, seeing if there was anything in there and all that. Gave it kind of a visual. I always like to try to find the leak um, visually first, but this one, this one was from one from last year. The customer kind of set it up, you know, when it started getting cold out last year. Knowing we got a small leak, but I kind of just look for some dye. Don't really see any uh, dye stains or oil anywhere. You know, checked up front and all that. <clears throat> I have an idea. I think I know what it is, but I'm just going to kind of take you guys through it. Show you what the sniffer does and all that stuff and see if we could get that sniffer to pinpoint where it's at. The compressor does turn on, so I know the compressor's good. The clutch turns on and spins. But let me get you guys set up, we'll get the AC sniffer and just kind of run through some of the areas, the prone areas to leak on these. All right, so we just waited. It's got to warm up. The little probe's got to warm up. This thing does have a light on the end of it. Like I said, I was using it the other day. You got an audible beep that comes out of the speaker in the back. But basically you use it, you got a couple settings, you know, low, medium, high. This is a nice one. This is, was in their last model, this grafting here. So when you find it, it just starts to beep. You know, it'll show like your normal grafting gauge and then it's also got the little extra gauge here which picks up pretty much any difference here I mean me just breathing on it you could see it changes there but and then it got you could reset it but I like this one we'll kind of just poke around and see if we could find any of the leaks like I said I'm not seeing dye anywhere but to get you guys set up I like to just kind of check the condenser here In the corners where the uh, you know lines go in, and anywhere where it fails, maybe a rock. You get a rock in there that damages it. But I'm definitely not seeing anything up front. Or what you'll see is if there's dye there. If there was any dye there at one point, you'll see a lot of dirt stuck to it. So that's usually an indication you got a leak. Up front's good. I'm going to lift this thing up. We'll go underneath to see if we can find anything on the rear side of it. Sometimes the, the rear lines leak on these, so we'll check that. All right, guys, so I got this thing racked up. Got the little tool here. But basically, you just kind of like poke around at the bottom of the compressor. I don't know if you guys are picking that up. Obviously, looking for a green dye while you go along. By the clutch, likes to leak a little bit, so we're Kind of waiting for a beep if it picks up any Freon or dye. This tool is pretty great. It's pretty sensitive. And then we got the AC lines that come down, follow the frame. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. The bottom of the dryer here, sometimes those like to leak. Even maybe stuck it up, stick it up in, in the drain port for the, the, the HVAC box. Stick it up inside the drain. That way they tell you if the uh, evaporator cores leak in but not getting anything out of there. And then you can see these lines kind of drop back. You can see them here. I don't really see any. A lot of times you could visually see if you got a leak here, but they look pretty decent actually. They're coated. Looks pretty good. And then I always like to check where they go in for the back evaporator core. If you guys are seeing that up there, but getting no leaks there either. Just go around suction and the discharge one but we're looking good under here too everything looks good we're waiting on a beep here so we're gonna go under the hood and uh, check a few spots that I think I have an idea where it's leaking from so up under the hood I like to poke around you know maybe at the top of the compressor here see if we get anything there you know follow the lines basically from the compressor to the condenser 
all along try to see if you see any green dye I did fill this thing up this thing's fully charged <clears throat> not hearing any leaks not seeing any leaks but we got a full charge on it like I said I did turn it on the compressor turns on but it's definitely got a leak um, but you know basically just following the lines see if we pick anything up here like I said the bottom of the dryer sometimes like to leak inside these cases here moisture stays in there and sometimes it'll rot it out not too often on these mostly Ford's problem is on those metal ones not these aluminum ones but it's got the drain tube down there too kind of poke around there see if we get any action nothing listening for a beep and then I also like to check these uh, these Schraders so we'll pull these off and this is kind of what I'm thinking here just kind of hover around the high side there make sure where the orifice tube is not leaking on any of those seals low side and there it is that Schrader is definitely leaking we're pick we're getting a reading here you can see and this thing wouldn't beep if it was just die or anything like that you know it's definitely picking up Freon and an easy way to confirm that when it is an easy fix like this you know that's definitely a leak and then we can see the grafting here put it on the second screen you can see the little bar coming across you know we put it close it doesn't beep you could visually see the leak so. alright guys so now that we found a confirmed leak on that low side um, what I actually tried doing is tighten it up the Schrader a little bit and then I put the sniffer back on there but we're still beeping so another way to confirm it is uh, grab a little bit of soapy water and basically just spray some in there and you know clearly we could see we got bubbles there so you know it's a definite leak and you could actually hear it once you spray water in there you could start hearing it but tighten it up didn't help so hopefully it's just a Schrader that's no good we'll evacuate it change out the Schrader and see if uh, see if we can stop the leak alright guys so that was the uh, ACT sniffer in action obviously just made quick work of that AC leak you know pretty easy one obviously you didn't have to get too crazy these work out great when it ends up being an evaporator core you know you're shoving this thing down into the vents and you know catching a leak in an evaporator core or shoving it up through the drain you know the, the HVAC drain port it's a good way to find those leaks this one like I said I, I had a feeling that these Raiders acted up I, I had a feeling I knew what it was last year before we dealt all this but it's great to check those you know the rear lines that go into the rear AC those evaporators they like to rot out on these things you know water kicking up all the dirt and debris and it just rots out those lines in the back but this guy's case he lucked out pretty simple fix we'll change that Schrader we'll go to retest it make sure it doesn't leak uh, another couple cool features on this one too that we didn't uh, have a chance to use but it's nice to have them on the tool is this thing actually has a UV light in it I don't know if the camera's picking that up but it is a UV light and then it's also got just a normal flashlight to kind of shine it down in those darker areas um, but I really dig it so far so far so good this thing's definitely uh, it's gonna pay its way so that's all it is you know making quick work like this out of it you obviously couldn't hear that leak out of that trainer until we sprayed the water in it that's another way to confirm these leaks on this quick work of it so but that's it guys quick tools in action as always you know it subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed already like comment all the good stuff getting back to work get this one taken care of catch you guys in the next one signing out